636. We check back in now with Mike Eppel over at 680 News for the latest in business news and a big challenge for tech stocks out there lately. We'll see how Apple does very soon. Yeah, indeed. Uh, good morning, Tammy. We're watching for lots of earnings over the course of this week from the biggest name in technology, that being Apple, which reports quarterly results tomorrow. And will Apple live up to expectations? as uh, some of its competitors in the tech space did last week, specifically Amazon and Google's parent company, Alphabet, or will Apple follow the lead of companies such as Facebook and Twitter? Of course, uh, those are social media giants, and both of their uh, stock prices plunged precipitously last week. Facebook down on Thursday after an earnings miss. Uh, in fact, the biggest ever single-day market value decline on Wall Street. And we saw Twitter shares tumble on Friday by 19, actually 20 percent, as uh, Twitter lost a number of subscribers over the last quarter because it's been cracking down on uh, fake accounts more than anything else. So all of this denting the company's earnings. So earnings front and center this week, along with interest rates and economics. We'll get an update on the health of the Canadian economy tomorrow from StatsCan, a May economic growth report and could show the economy growing strongly in the second quarter and that could lead to interest rates going up later this year the next time the bank of canada sets interest rates is september 5th the u.s federal reserve sets interest rates on wednesday of this week and the u.s central bank could be looking at a quarter percent interest rate hike because the u.s economy in the latest quarterly update growing north of four percent very strong and the other spotlight this week will be on the expected uh, legislative rule changes due tomorrow from the uh, Ford government on the sale of legal cannabis in this province. Do they go to a private sector model as opposed to the uh, Ontario cannabis stores, which have been lay laid out by the Wynn government? Does this give them enough time to actually get everything in place for the sale of uh, legal cannabis on October 17th? Lots of questions to be answered there. That's it from here back to the studio. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll be chatting a little more about that coming up in uh, about uh, 20 minutes or so. Thank you, sir. Morning.